So, uh, Colby Covington beats um, Jorge Masvidal on a wide, unanimous decision. And the fight went exactly as I thought it would. Um, I had a feeling that um, Colby Covington was going to uh, bring the wrestling aspect to it because I feel like he would have been a fool if he didn't. I mean, we saw um, in the fourth round when Jorge Masvidal actually dropped Colby Covington. Um, what happens if he relies too much on his striking? Because say what you like about Jorge Masvidal, but his uh, his striking element is always going to be a factor in all of his fights. Um, even in fights where he's against elite opposition and... Um, He's in a position where he could um, he could get overwhelmed with with the fight. His opposition's wrestling, his um, his striking will always be a factor in any fight that he's in. Um, the fact is, though, like uh, with uh, Jorge Masvidal, um, I always had the feeling that um, he he his time was a uh, uh, borrowed for this fight because from the first round. Um, literally Colby just completely dominated him on the wrestling I mean he 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 just got he done a he shot for a single leg and he just completely kept him in that position against the cage for a remainder of the fight um Colby Covington you can just tell like the different in in his um in terms of his elite wrestling credentials compared to Jorge Masvidal now don't get it twisted Jorge Masvidal um there was many times where he managed to get himself out of um danger in terms of like his um takedown defense and he did manage to get himself up several times it's very grueling to a uh, fighter fighter that constantly keeps putting you down the way um uh, colby Covington did to jorge masvidal so i do need to give him some credit for that and there was a moment in the fourth round where he caught him with several punches but if you look at um i think the commentators mentioned this um as soon as the fight started uh colby Covington rushed towards the center of the cage and the reason why he did that was because his whole game plan was to put jorge masvidal against uh against the cage to actually punish him that 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 was his whole game I mean that that was what he wanted to do. He just wanted to punish Jorge Masvidal against the cage. Um, so from that perspective, I feel like um, Colby was very successful at what he did. Um, in my opinion, I think um, it is it, it was uh, it, a lot of people didn't like the entertainment, but I did find it a little bit entertaining. Like, you, don't get a it twist; it's not the most exciting MMA fight that I've ever seen, um, especially with the build up and how how long it's been going on for. Like the build up for this, but to some extent i feel, i feel like it, it was um it, it was it was an all right fight there, there was moments in there that were quite exciting especially the fourth round when um Jorge Masvidal uh, wobbled Colby and dropped him with a right hand that was his one moment in the fight where he could have capitalized and really went for it but for some reason he just laid back a bit i think um there could be a chance that um Jorge Masvidal doesn't have the same killer instinct that he once did i mean Obviously, he's an older fighter now. He's like 37, 38, and um, he's in a position now where he's going up against fighters that are just um, a little bit younger and sharper. Like, Colby Covington's like three, four years younger than him. So, from that perspective, you can kind of see why... Um, just just from that perspective, you can see... Um, three, four years doesn't sound like a long time, but in terms of sports years, it does seem to matter. And it just seemed like Colby Covington could not get himself started in this fight he just didn't have the same energy or the vibe that he had in previous years when he was going through his 2019 run when he was like literally lighting the sport up when he knocked out Ben Askren when he destroyed uh, Nate Diaz when he was going through that run um he had a certain energy about him but today is he said it in a post fight interview he looked a bit dead and I've, I think that's the best way to describe um best way to describe him as as a fighter at this moment in time he just seems a little bit flat he doesn't seem like he's got the same thing that he had that made him great all them years ago i mean to some extent it does feel like um jorge masvidal for 16 17 years 15 years he toiled in obscurity then he caught lightning in a bottle in 2019 and then from that 2019 he did have three four great performances then then after that it kind of all went downhill but Jorge Masvidal has got nothing to be ashamed of. He's obviously um, a great fighter that's uh, accomplished uh, quite a lot in his career. If you see where he's come from to where he is now, it's a huge uh, meteoric rise. But I just don't think he was ever an elite fighter to some extent. I just don't think um, he was ever that guy. Like he 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 had moments where he he's a very 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 good fighter, but um, I don't think he was ever like completely elite. 
there might be a moment where he he might have been on the cusp of being elite, but um, I don't think he was ever like one of the main guys that was going to ever win a title. The thing that made him go over the top was um, like for example, Conor McGregor. There was a time when he's undeniably he was an elite fighter when he was a two weight world champion in two different organizations and there's no denying it he he was elite at one point he might not be now but he was at one point but with Masvidal um Masvidal I'm not 100% sure like um there might have been a moment where he was on a cusp of being elite but um I think he's neither here nor there. We don't know for sure, hundred percent, if he if he was. I think he was a very very good fighter, but I don't think he was elite. Um, but yeah, that's just my opinion on uh, this uh, particular fight. Tell me your opinion and uh, uh, like and uh, subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more content uh, coming your way. Peace out.